A new version of Proton is out and in the wild. Pro GE Proton, which is basically a community-built version of the Proton compatibility layer that allows you to run Windows games on the Steam Deck, has been released. I actually used it to fix one game I was having major issues with that just stopped working out of the blue after an update, F122, and I'll do a video on how you can install a GE or the GE version of Proton. It is super easy, and like I said, I'll make a video on it, so click the subscribe, click the bell icon down below for that. Um, anyways, I'm Blaze2K, okay, let's get into the article. Hey guys, before we get into this video, I'm giving away one of these amazing folding keyboard and track pads for the Steam Deck. It's my favorite Steam Deck accessory, and we're giving away in a couple of weeks. All you have to do for a chance of winning is clicking the like button, subscribe button, and bell icon, and commenting down below as to why you would want to win one of these bad boys. Also, if you just want to buy one of these things, um, I'll put a link to where you could buy it in the video description and in the top comment of this video. So this article comes from Gaming on Linux, one of my favorite sources for Steam Deck and Linux news. Um, GE Proton 737 is now out fixing up more games for Steam Deck and Linux. GE Proton, also known as Proton GE, is a community-built version of the Proton compatibility layer to run Windows games, with the new release is out now and FSR is back. Versions 737 and 736 were released, initially removing AMD FSR being in it directly, but thankfully another community hacker sorted out the patches needed for it to make a return. Here's what's included. The import NV API enablement list from the Proton Upstream, um, import media converter changes from Proton Upstream, update DXVK, update VKD 3D Proton, update Wine Bleeding Edge, um, add Proton Fix for Shatterline, um, and add added a Proton fix for Halo Reach and mod, Halo Reach mod tools, and they added a Proton fix for Ugon Muso, Musok Yoko. <laughs> I'm so, so bad at pronouncing, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm Scottish after all. Um, this version is not included in Steam or Steam Deck with you needing to add it yourself, and it usually includes fixes that Valve hasn't yet done officially. So like I said, I will be, I will be posting a video on this in the very near future, and I mean in, like in the next couple of days, all right? So please subscribe and click the bell icon because this um, Proton GE is absolutely amazing. Like I said, I purchased a game called F122 um, and they released an update not long after which completely broke compatibility on the Steam Deck. Um, EA were unwilling to do anything to fix it. Valve were unwilling to post any, any updates to fix it. It was basically unplayable for a better part of the month, right? A month after buying it and it was verified to work and play just fine on Steam Deck. Well, I found out about Pro, uh, Proton GE um, and I downloaded the very latest Bleeding Edge version of Proton and what do you know, it fixed F1 so I was able to play that game again and this works for so many other games. So if you're having an issue with any game in particular on the Steam Deck, Proton GE might be the thing that fixes it and the install it's super simple. Now like I said, I'll be posting a video, a tutorial on how to do it in the next couple of days and just click the bell icon, subscribe to the bell icon to be notified when I post that. Um, and while we're at it, let me tell you about a giveaway because we're, we're giving away one of these amazing folding keyboards in the next couple of weeks um, and I'll be posting updates on Twitter when I do give it away. Um, but all you have to do for a chance of winning this thing is clicking the like, subscribe, and clicking the bell icon and let me know in the comment, you know, post in the comment down below um, to be, you know, eligible to win it. Um, this thing's super useful um, for, for doing things like going into desktop mode, installing Proton GE. Um, this thing is indispensable. It's my favorite Steam Deck accessory. Now, if you don't want to, if you don't want to enter to win one of these, um, I'll put a link to where you could buy it down in the top comment down below this video and in the video description. So go buy one if you don't want to wait or don't want to just risk not winning it, right? Um, anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I love you. I'm Blaze to Cave. Please subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content, and please like this video on the way out. Um, yeah, Proton GE. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it if you're having any sort of issue with games. Um, specifically, I think there was an issue with the new LEGO Star Wars Skywalker saga. Um, it was really choppy, stuttery on the default build of uh, default build of Proton that came that comes with your Steam Deck, right? Um, and after they released a Proton update for it via the GE Proton builds, um, it ran a lot more smoothly it ran buttery smooth after that so yeah there we go um and like it says like subscribe click the bell icon for that video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye